This is the school soon after the lightning hit. Roof ablaze, smoke pouring from windows. At a quarter past six, a massive thunderclap had woken one of the school governors who took these pictures. There was a sou'westerly wind blowing and that was blowing the fire along the top of the roof until eventually it got over to the, the main part of the building, which was a the theater. And the whole roof just went up and it was just a tragedy. As day broke, the devastation became clear. Flames had torn through the roof, dropping debris through two floors. This was a theater, arts, drama and photography block. As you can see, the roof has gone and pretty much everything inside has been destroyed, including the work of more than 200 students. Zoe Wathan saw two years of her daughter's A-level artwork reduced to cinders. We were stood around the other side about an hour ago and um, watching the flames come out of the window where Laura sits. That's, that's where her desk is, that's where her drawers are. And... The flames were so fierce that fire crews nearly ran out of water. They dammed a nearby stream and called in supplies from three counties. It's not clear yet when the school will reopen. The building behind me here is totally compromised structurally and probably all, if not a great deal of it, uh, will have to be demolished. David Fenton, BBC South Today, in Lichitminster.